Hey guys, happy Sunday. I am about to leave the house to meet up with my friend Bianca. I think that's her actually texting me right now. We're gonna go to our friend Ebony's first ever pop-up shop for her thrifting store. She has like an online thrifting boutique, so this is her first ever like in-person pop-up. We're super excited for her. We're gonna go show our support and after that we're gonna go to another event that we have and let me just show you guys my outfit. This top I actually just got in yesterday. It's from Amazon. Amazon, Amazon fashion the jeans are from Zara and then I'm just wearing my converse and then this bag which I recently got on sale from mango and it's like stuffed I have so many things in here my wallet portable charger mini travel spray on deodorant because it's summertime and I never never leave the house without that um, what else keys there's a hairbrush in there there is my powder to touch up I just got my period so I have like pads and all that in there basically just a whole bunch of necessities so yeah i don't want to be any later than i am let's go take on the day hey guys so we are currently this is bianca by the way we're right outside of the shop. We're about to walk in and we're so excited for Ebony! I cannot wait to shop and we'll show you guys what's inside. Yes, let's go! So good! Definitely buying this bathing suit, but I... Wait, is it a bathing suit or is it a... Or body suit, right? Yeah. Okay, this one is gonna be mine. Yeah, I'm also looking into her decor pieces because my friend Stephanie just got her own place, so I feel like this cute little tiny vase that would be beautiful for her new set. How adorable is this little basket bag, also? So adorable. Guys, say hello to my baby girl, Ebony. Hi. I am so proud of her. First of all, Thank how you. gorgeous does she look? Look at her, come on. Look at this queen right here. Of course. Yeah, you need it. For sure, yes. Wow. Oh my God, yes. <laughs> You need to wear that like before oh summer ends. You gotta wear it before summer ends. It fits so oh, yeah. good too. Like I love that it's, it's like, like stretchy like too. It was meant. Yeah. <laughs> so meant for you. Oh, okay. Hey guys, so we just got into Showfields on our way to the Velvet event. This elevator is so cool. morning guys today is monday currently putting on my shoes going to the post office to drop off some packages some of um the orders that were placed from jamedia this weekend and then after that i'm gonna hop on the train going downtown to soho to meet my friend marima we're gonna be shopping in Soho. I'm gonna try my best not to buy anything today cause like I've put myself on like a no shopping. Mind you, I just placed an order from Boohoo yesterday but for the most part, I'm really trying to like cut down on my shopping. And today, like that's why I don't wanna shop cause I don't really need anything else. I'm just really going with her to help her. She's been wanting me to help her shop for a while because she wants me to help her like figure out her style. So that's what we're gonna do. It's gonna go up to like 90 degrees today. So honestly, like wish me luck. But yeah, heading out. Let's go get this Monday done.
this is our trying on rack. Here, put it on there. Hang it in there. There you go. How dare you? Hold on. You want to shit? Good morning, peeps. I'm currently filming a TikTok, putting on my shoes. There we go. Now let me film this part in the mirror. Oh, my flip flops are in the way. Get out of the way. Move. Okay, so let me actually prepare my bag to go. Today, I am going to an Alme event with my friend Ebony. Ebony is uh, my friend that we just went to the pop-up shop for um, a few days ago. So we're going to this Alme event later um, around like 3-ish. Um, before that though, I have to go get my nails done. So that's actually where we're headed to right now. It's already 10-10. And my appointment is at 11 with Ashley. So let me just, I'm going to take off these heels. Wait, let me show you guys before I put the heels away. Because I'm going to just put them in my bag and walk around with flip-flops. So it's time to go to the event. But this is the outfit that I'm wearing. We're having an all green moment. Like, how freaking cool. This top right here is actually thrifted from Ebony. The shorts um, are from Zara. If you guys watched one of my last Zara hauls, like maybe about two months ago. Um, this was a part of it. The bag is from Mango. It was on sale. I think that I already showed this to you guys earlier before um, when I went to the um, event on Sunday. And then the shoes are from this brand called Reiki Nen. And I just got them in from Vera Shop. So this is the outfit. But even though, don't get me wrong, like the heels are very comfy. Ooh. I just don't really feel like walking around um, with them while I'm like running my errands, like getting my nails done and just like walking around. So what I'm going to do is just put them in a bag and wear my flip flops. And then when it's time to go to the event, then I'll change it to the green sandals. So I'm just going to carry them in this bag for now. And then change into them as we are pulling up to the event because i know that we're going to take a lot of photos today ebony and i on top of that let me not forget to grab my watch that i also need to shoot my photos of today because i'm working on a partnership with this brand right here called movement you probably can't see the box it's really dark but um they're like a watch and accessories company so this is the watch that i need to shoot my content for today ah. so i was really just waiting to get my nails done because if i'm gonna be doing a lot of shots of my um my hands i just wanted to make sure that like my nails were done first so that's why I'm going to take advantage that I'm getting my nails done and then start shooting the watch right away. And then it came with this pretty matching bangle. I should probably put the bangle. Should I put it in front or behind the watch? Let's get going. done and they look so beautiful we went with the more simple design now i'm actually gonna go to bluestone lane to grab myself some brunch because it's already like i think it's almost two o'clock and um i'm not meeting up with ebony till four now for the event so yeah i'm gonna go grab some brunch since i didn't have breakfast this morning and then after that i'm just gonna walk around for about an hour like to kill time Luckily, the weather is really nice today. It's not like too hot or humid or anything. So 
Yep. Amazing. Oh, so, 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 so
Tuesday it's a brand new week so I'm actually about to go to the gym I'm gonna meet Jackie there he did an overnight at work so he's coming straight from work to the gym but um, I think I have a little time because he's still like about 10 minutes away so I'm gonna stop at the post office right now and ship out some Jamelia orders since it's nine o'clock and the post office just um, opened, so that's what I'm gonna do first. And now I'm at the stage where, like, I'm not really working out to lose weight because honestly, like, I wanna just enjoy the rest of the summer. And summertime in general, I just feel like it's meant to be enjoyed. Like, who cares if you gain any weight during the summer months? I am more so working out right now to stay active. Like, I wanna keep my body moving. I want to just, you know, move my body for its own health, for its own good. So that's the only reason why I'm still trying my best to go to the gym. However, once September comes around, we are going to get into like a strict diet because for my birthday in October, I just want to be like somewhere where I feel very good and happy about myself and about my body. But that's like in September. For now, for the rest of August, we're going to work out just to move, to stay active. But we're not dieting like crazy. We're just doing things like to stay healthy all while still, you know, indulging in food and just enjoying summer. Because once summer leaves, it's like, that's it. Not going to be going out as much. The cold months are going to come and I'm going to want to just, you know, we all stay home during the cold months. So... Once I come back from the gym though, you guys, you guys, today's task is going to be cleaning up this mess. This room is honestly so, so, so messy. If you guys have watched my previous vlogs and you know that in these bins is where I keep like all of my Jamelia supplies, like shipping stuff, poly mailers, cards, and art packaging. But of course, during the week, as I come and go and get ready, I start to just throw like all of my clothes up there. So that's why you guys are seeing that pile. This also has become another victim of my messiness. As I get ready, I also just throw like a bunch of things up here, but we need to also like clean this. So that's gonna be my priority today when I get home. I also have some like admin stuff to do, like answer some brand emails. So I wanna get that done as well. And what else? Oh, later on, I am actually going out to dinner with a friend. She's someone that we've been following each other for on Instagram like for a while. Her name is Sunny. And if you guys follow me on Instagram, then you've noticed that I've been connecting more with um, creators. I feel like it's about time this summer has definitely been one all about networking and i'm so happy that i'm finally putting myself out there and that i'm meeting up with people in person that i followed for a while you know we live in this big city in new york city so might as well make friends that are in the same field as me so far from connecting with people i've learned so much and i also feel so much more free to express myself online i don't know if that makes any sense but i feel like it has something to do with the fact that i'm meeting people that can i can relate to that do the same thing and we're all trying to grow together as a community so i just feel more confident in what i'm doing and i feel like it's also like showing in my content as well a lot of you guys are telling me that like my content recently has just been so good so i feel like it has something to do with the fact that i'm finally putting people in my life that are doing the same thing as me and so it just shows in like my confidence and my energy with that being said it's time to go to the gym now i don't know how much of my workout i'll be able to record because i'm just taking my phone i am not pulling on my camera 
at the gym i'll just do it on my phone and i'll try to like prop up my phone wherever i can if it even stays up so if i don't get to record much of my workout don't kill me please don't kill me i'm just not at the state yet where i feel like bringing my camera to the gym and have people like oh she has a camera like you know what i mean like no I already get enough stares as it is from men when I'm at the gym because Jackie and I, for the most part, we do our separate things. It's only at the end of our, um, of our workout that we'll come together to like work, work on abs and stuff to finish off our workout. But for the most part, I'm at the gym by myself doing my own thing. So, you know, I just don't want any more attention on myself. So, yeah, I'll try, to, I'll try my best to get some things with my phone if I can, if the phone stays up on the floor. If it doesn't, then one day, one day, maybe, I'll bring my camera with me to the gym. But yeah, let's get started with our day. up the room the only thing that i didn't get to do though was the show because um i was running out of time and i had to start getting ready for dinner now like to head downtown soon and in order to clean the shelf i would need to like take everything off like individually so that i could um wipe down and dust the shelves like one by one so i just wasn't gonna have time to do that today other than that i also just didn't get to like sweep and mop the floor like the room because jackie's currently sleeping i think i told you guys before but he's working like overnight this month so i just didn't want to like wake him by plugging in the vacuum or like even by sweeping and mopping i feel like that even makes a lot of noise so and he's already complaining he's saying that like apparently i walk super like heavy and loud and He'll just wake up like even from me just like walking by the room like so yeah I wasn't trying to do all that so my nose piercing is currently very irritated um I know that it happened like while I was sleeping because I felt it happening like in the middle of the night two days ago I turned around to sleep like on my side like with my face on the pillow and then like when I lifted my head it's nagged against like a thread from the pillowcase and i'm gonna show you guys it's like very irritated you guys see so i tried my best not to get any makeup around it because when it's like irritated you just want to avoid any sort of infection so i'm like okay let me just not get any makeup around this so my makeup came out a little funny right now i feel like i look a little funny not as like perfect as i wish that it would be but i can't because of this i feel like i didn't really have the luxury to really like you know work with my face as much as i would if i didn't have this little issue and you know what i'm just gonna go ahead and put a little bit of blush on my nose because i love doing this but just like right in the middle <sighs> avoiding this little guy right here yes just like that and now i can kind of blend it let me see oh, doing this is so hard i literally okay there we go because i don't want like a single hair from this brush to touch it for my brows recently i've been loving this refi beauty sculpting brow gel I stopped using my Anastasia brow wax. What's that called? Brow freeze. Ever since I got this, I just like it so much better because it actually like lays my hairs down as if like like a microblade effect. You guys will see right now. Let me come in closer. So I think that I might 
do like a video like a separate video on this product alone i definitely should just because i love it so much this is like the magic right here it's all in the brush this one right here you guys will see what it does am i even like focused you guys see Like, I was never able to lay my hairs down this flat and smooth with the brow freeze from Anastasia. Now we're going to do the brow pen from Anastasia in the color chocolate. So this is what I'm working with. Um, I could either do these platform flip-flops that I have. Or I was thinking because I haven't done my toes. And also like they're all ashy and I'm too lazy to put on lotion. I was thinking maybe I could do sneakers. And then like with this purse. I got this purse from Zara. Um, when did I get it? I want to say it was like their last sale the sale that they had that like started in the summer like early summer like june for only nine bucks like talk about a steal but yeah i don't know should i stay with these and just say fuck it mind you i have like one whole toenail that's chipped i don't know if you guys see it but i just don't feel like zooming in i want to spare you guys that image yeah maybe i should just go like this i mean this is comfy she's comfy right let's head downtown to dinner yo 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 i'm back from dinner now i did not get to vlog at all like i wanted to introduce you guys to sunny and just like you know even like show you guys my dinner like the food what we had didn't get to do that at all because so we were sitting like outside in the restaurant's um outdoor seating area it literally started to pour like 10 minutes after we sat down so it was just a lot going on like the wind and the rain blowing at us the um like the inside of the restaurant like the actual restaurant it was really tiny inside and people were already eating in there so by the time that it started to pour it's not like they could move us inside because there was literally like no more space so the rain mixed in with the fact that she and i were so hungry and also just like talking chit-chatting getting to know one another there was just a lot going on and i just didn't like you know sometimes you just it just happens you have to live in the moment i didn't take out my camera you guys will meet her another time so i just got home and it's currently nine it's almost like 9 30. i'm gonna take off my makeup i'm gonna shower what i'm gonna do before i go to bed remember that i told you guys earlier today that like i had some like admin stuff to take care of like emails and stuff didn't get to do any of that today so i might just take like half hour before i go to bed and just do that on the laptop in bed oh and by the way jackie already left to work so i am home alone sleeping alone that actually reminds me like did i even lock the door let me triple check that i locked the door okay lock the bottom i locked the top all right so we're good i know that i'm home safe now yeah let me wipe off my makeup hop in the shower i'll see you guys when i'm in bed well folks this is why you don't buy frames from dollar tree i'm surprised that the glass didn't like break and shatter this one too is like completely <laughs> done i actually don't even know what happened to like the glass for this frame <sighs> so last night when i told you guys that i was just gonna see you when i was in bed working on like emails and admin stuff i didn't do that i just went to bed i just decided that since i'm going out today like right now i'm getting ready to leave for my laser hair removal appointment 
I'm gonna just stay out and like bring my laptop and stay out and just like work outside because I finally come to the conclusion that the reason why I suck so much at like keeping up and just doing admin stuff in general like emails and and not even for like my influencer stuff also for Jamelia too like I actually really suck at it and it's really bad because like that's my business and I should literally be on top of every single detail but I've come to the conclusion that the reason why is because I have a really hard time separating home life from my work life. I've read articles before that say that it's just good in general to separate your home and your work. And you would think like even though I have an actual office in my home that it would be you know easier for me than others. I mean I know that there's so many of you, so many people out there currently working from home and you know people don't have the luxury of having an extra bedroom in their in their homes that they could just turn into an office you guys are doing this from your couch from your dining table you know you're just working with what you have but the point is sorry let me start getting ready because i gotta leave in like 10 minutes the story of my life i'm gonna just do some brow gel i'm not gonna do any makeup because i want to let my skin breathe i'll just do it right here sorry if the light keeps adjusting because like whatever so like i was saying um even though i have the luxury of having like an office you would think that that would be more than enough like motivation for me but it still doesn't work i don't know it still doesn't work like that's just the type of person that i am i need to physically be like somewhere else that's not home to get my work done like i honestly find it very hard for me to sit down here and just like stay in the computer for hours like I just I can't do that and I feel like that's also part of the reason why like my YouTube videos aren't as consistent because like I just hate sitting down and editing so I'm bringing my laptop with me after my appointment I'm either gonna go to a cafe or Maybe even like Central Park, that would be nice. And I could basically work anywhere because my phone has a hotspot, so I could work on my laptop like just with my phone. Like I don't need somewhere that has Wi-Fi. So I don't know, let's see. Either Central Park or maybe I can stop at a cafe and just sit down and work there or maybe even a mall because it's gonna be like 90 degrees today. And I'm not wearing deodorant by the way because I can't like your skin needs to be completely free of like deodorant and lotions Of any products when you're doing laser hair removal. So wish me luck today guys I am bringing wipes with me though so that I could just like wipe myself throughout the day As I start to sweat because I do not want to be out there stinky So since it's 90 degrees today and also like I just need something super easy to change in and out of for the appointment I'm just wait, uh, wearing this romper that I got from Zara like a little like play suit type thingy And I need to take off the tag I'm gonna just do this or maybe even like wrap it around my waist and then my back But then as soon as I get downtown and again, it's gonna be 90 degrees I don't mind just like having this off honestly or just having it tied around my waist just, uh, let me grab my laptop which was um, in June so six weeks ago and this is my first time going to this place by the way well second time today but you guys remember I was doing laser hair removal but the thing is that with the pandemic you know when everything was New York City you gotta love how loud it is when everything was closed last year during the pandemic I had to stop my treatment so the hair obviously grew back so I'm basically starting again from like zero starting all over from scratch it was really intense especially like my legs because I'm also doing half my legs like my thighs that part burns so bad and even now like 
my thighs are freaking throbbing. I fucked up majorly by wearing this romper slash play suit, whatever it is, because I forgot that when you do laser, you're not supposed to like, you, well, you're supposed to avoid sun exposure for two weeks um because like the laser makes your skin very sensitive and right now my thighs are literally on fire let me show you guys see like it literally feels like i have burns so i'm trying to avoid like any of the sidewalks where the sun is shining on and just kind of like sticking to the ones where there's more shade currently walking to hudson yards because there's actually a bluestone lane cafe inside of the mall so i can do my work there while also having my breakfast slash lunch because i haven't eaten anything at all today and also i'll be indoors under the ac and not burning my skin not burning my freaking thighs from the sun Just currently feeding the cats and then I'm gonna like clean up here the kitchen area before I shower and start getting ready for bed but I wanted to let you guys know that in those like two two and a half hours that I spent at the cafe at Bluestone Lane I literally got more work done than I have in the past like few weeks combined which is just so crazy to me now I know that this is what I need to do from now on like once a week and doesn't even have to be like at a cafe or a restaurant like it could just be like at a park you know sitting down on a bench or even if I like bring a blanket and I just like sit down under a tree catching some shade enjoying fresh air while getting my work done but the point is that as long as I'm not home, I know that I'm gonna get all of my work done. So I'm just gonna go ahead and wrap up this vlog right now. I want to start doing something new with my videos, well the vlogs. Um, if you guys like have any questions that you want me to answer in the next vlog, then go ahead and just comment them down below. That way I could do like a small little Q&A with whatever questions you guys, may, you guys may have regarding anything. It doesn't matter what it is, whatever topic you guys want to talk about, just ask away in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.